Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about token replacement inside a .NET Nook skin, how you can do that. So here's a scenario that I came across just a few days ago. I needed to add the username within the skin, inside the skin, so people could know uh, who were they logging as. Now, you could think that we could easily solve that by using the, the login link and the register link to show the current user. Yes, we could, but I didn't want to make the, the username a link to their profile. I just wanted a simple text there in the skin, and that's it. So then I started to do some research and I came across uh, the fact that you can use token replacement inside the DNN skin, the same way as you can do inside uh, an, HTML, an HTML module. Okay, so I have actually published a video about the token replacement inside the HTML module. Again, now we're gonna do that inside the skin. So here's how I we were able we were able to do that. So here is a DNN6 website. It has the standard Dark Knight skin loaded to it. And we're gonna try to do something very simple. Just at the top of the skin, just let's say right here, we're gonna try to put the username there by using this approach that I'm about to explain. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find out which skin this page is using. This is the getting started page. We're gonna log into the back end. We could do that as either admin or host, super user. Let's do that as admin. Let's log in. And now I'm in the getting started page. I can go to pages, page settings. And I want to have a look which skin exactly that page is using. So let's go to, well, to advanced settings, scroll down, and here's the skin. So it's using a host level skin called Dark Knight. And so the Dark Knight is the folder and home-mega-menu is the skin used in this page. So I'm just gonna flip back to uh, Windows Explorer. By the way, I'm running this website in my local system, so that's the reason why we can I can use uh, Windows Explorer to find my site file, so find my my skin. So I'm the root folder. Here's my website. Here's the root of my website. I'm gonna go to portals because this is a host level skin. I'm going to the default folder. To the skins folder inside the skins folder i have dark knight there so i'm gonna open that and inside the dark knight folder i need to find the home mega menu dot ascx so let's scroll down so here it is home mega menu so this is the skin that we're going to use as an example again most likely you're going to have another skin there but the the idea it still applies, it's, it's the same idea, the same concept. Now, I'm going to open this skin file. Okay, so the skin file is open, here's the file. Now, the first thing that we have to check is we need to verify if the text control is registered inside the skin. So, you have just to have a look at the very top of your skin, if the text control object is already registered in the skin. In our case, it is, but again, in your skin, it may not be. So if it's not, you have to put the, you have, you have to register the text control inside your skin. So you have to put this line that is selected inside your skin. I'm going to post those, those notes in the video post so you can copy easily from there. Now, so this is the first step, so it's already there. So that's the first part here inside the skin. The other one is we have to use the text um, the text control inside the skin. It's not in use right now, 
So we're going to create another tag in the place, in the exact place that we want to show up our, in, in our case, in our test, the username. So I want it to show up right here. And I will place this tag over there. So it's a DNN text tag. It, it's quite simple. You have a class, you have a text. In our, in our case, I'll just put an example here. I'm just going to put it uh, my username under the text parameter, under, under text property. So I'm just going to save this and show what is happening with our skin. So now if I close this off, if I go and I just click refresh, let's see. Actually, it doesn't do anything. So we cannot see anything here yet because the way the, the text control works within the skin is via resource files. So we have to have a resource file that the text object can get the information from, the, the text from. So we have to do something else here. We have to add another property here called, called, let me see, resource key. Yep. And we have to say that resource key is equal to, in our case, just for the sake of example, let's call it uh, my user. And again, it could be any name here as long as we create a resource entry, resource entry with that name. So let's just save this for, for now. Now let's go back to our folder, to our skin folder. If we have a look there, there's already a folder inside our skin called app local resource. If I open that folder, there's no, uh, there's no equivalent, there's no resource file with the same name as the home mega menu. There's no equivalent here. There are some resource files here already, but not the one, not one for the skin that we want to work with, which is the home mega menu. Now, let's do something very simple. Let's go to our um, resource folder. Let's just copy any one of those resources and, and, and rename it. So, Let's just control C, control V, continue here. So we have a copy. Now, just make sure that I create with the exact same name. Let's just make a copy here. I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to rename the copped file, copped resource file with the same skin file. This is the end of part one of the video on how to use token replacement in .NET Nook skins.